We're back for another build, and we're gonna take on a big one. This week, we're finally building a workshop. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojex. <laughs> In a fantasy workshop, what would you have? I'd like to have a proper planning area. Good workbenches. Shelving, obviously. A couple lockers. Build a giant deck. Totally. And we want big, giant doors. That's plenty. Now on to planning of the building. What do you think the building is going to look like? I just got off the phone with a buddy of mine. He's actually got a little metal container, like a shipping container on his lot that he said we could have. We'll start the workshop by cutting an opening in the side of the shipping container to allow for easy access. Inside, we'll have plenty of space for storage and planning, while a deck out front will give us a level building platform. The can's strength will also allow us to build a rooftop deck, somewhere to hang out and enjoy the view. Just looking for uh, spots for this workshop. I think this area is going to be actually perfect. We've got that mini cottage on one side. That'll be kind of command central. We build the workshop from like here over. Stereo, some lights, planning room. Yeah. So we're dropping off the workshop in the driveway. Careful. We got it down the driveway, which was a uh, feat in its own right. All right. Let's open it up and see what it's like. So what I was thinking was we could cut out one of these walls and put doors in it. I like it. Uh, basically just putting down the foundation for the building. You have to put a building on something so the deck and the building will move together. This is going to be decked and be our little flat place out in front to build on. There's a bit of rust up here from this thing being bashed around over the years. So just putting a little bit of rust paint on here to extend the life of the can. Now that we build the deck off the front of this, it'll be more or less level right into the can. We changed up our design. At one point in time, the shipping container was gonna sit on these big six by six posts. Now we've got this giant deck in front. Just gonna cut a hole in it. Are you 100% sure that's it? Yep. It feels like I'm being stung by bees all over. I see Kevin's wearing his t-shirt. Ow! We're leaving little tabs as we go so that the door header can have something to hang on. Here's the big moment. Yeah, just getting some paint on this thing. It was orange to begin with. We chose black to make the can contrast with the cedar. Yeah, right now we're just gonna do the door frame. We're gonna sandwich the little tabs of the container in between two of these pieces. Take some bolts and bolt it all together and hope that it's strong enough. The next big worry for me is, is the doors. We've got fairly heavy duty hinges to hold this thing, but it weighs a ton. All right, ready? Yep. A little bit worried that we overbuilt them. I don't know if they were imagining these doors when they made those hinges. Coming through there, Walker. Ow! <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Well, how about that? Feels like a beefy door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now uh, we just have to do the other one. It works. We all feel very good about this. Group hug? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna trim out the edge of the deck here, and then we'll be done the deck. This is just like the base of the door, then we'll pretty it up and put a little cedar shingles all over it. I had initially believed this building was gonna be wood, and then the sea can came in on the back of the truck. I couldn't believe my eyes. Look what it turned into. The old paddle trick, eh? Comes in handy every time. We needed to get organized and have a level space to build, so we took an empty shipping container and turned it into the ultimate cottage workshop. Now we not only have lockers, shelves, and a workbench, but also a massive deck for building and a rooftop patio for putting your feet up after a long day. You can see a lot from up here. You can. Swim platform, shower. What do you want to do? Build something. <laughs> we should uh, we should organize this place. Well, that would be a start. Generally, when you go to golf courses, they frown upon you bringing your own uh, beverages. But if it was hidden in a golf bag, no one would ever know. <laughs> <laughs>